and now a confirmation of your results. There were big wins for Manzini Betts and Babani Swallows in match week 19, a crucial point for Tambuti against the Green Mamba. Straight from the international break and a busy transfer window, young Buffaloes were out to summon to their status as the heavy punishers in the Premier League when they hosted Lewiseli on Wednesday at the Malfoso Sports Centre. Wanderers headed into their own net after a well-whipped in cross from Gwaket Palam. Fala was proving why he is deserving of his national team call-up, continuing with his scintillating form. Wanderers' poor positioning was creating all sort of problems at the back, conceding two goals in the first 20 minutes. Shortly after that, Wanderers were punished again, Ketesi offers Sfiso Mazibogo with the keeper way off the goal. Fabrice Mopina restored some hope, netting Wanderers first. Fala continued causing all sorts of problems for Wanderers who were refusing to learn. A clear indication that I will hand down the same lesson until you learn. Refusal to do so, you will keep on being punished. Young Buffaloes were not done as of yet. Sandile Kametsa with a power shot to put the match beyond Wanderers reach. Gamete putting the cherry on top for hitting his second of the match. That's how the match will end 5-2 in favor of Young Buffaloes. Playing an experienced side and they made use of the much chances available at Folile and they we considered a, a, a mistakes the first three goals we, we could have done better I think it's something that we need to work on going forward because Lama Goli Lesoa considered are they are too soft which is now as now concealer and with the Nasegusi Bulala even in terms of a confidence going forward. No, I'm happy. Young Buffaloes who are slowly starting to look like the team we know are claiming a place among the contenders and their journey to the top has been an interesting one to watch. Amatole were hoping to continue with their impressive showing when they travel to Kilana Stadium to face a tricky Vogovo FC. The first 45 minutes have failed to yield any goals. Sandile Kameza benefited from a well-placed corner kick with the ball rolling off him to the back of the net. The keeper was called to action twice in the space of five minutes to keep Vovovo in the game. With the heavy rain conditions, the keeper was having a tough day in office. Young Buffaloes held on to take all three points, reclaiming its seat as a big boy at the top of the lock, officially making a three-horse race. I think we, we had our chances first half. We, we did not take them. The world so it was very difficult if we are building to finish on that area 
it was a bit very difficult for the boys but they played well they played well i'm, I'm not disappointed with their performance no one yellow city bullets in because you know about what you see a market of the The calling was louder for coach Velekaya Mtsetpa and Teresaya Changara from the fans that it's either they ship in or ship out when they hosted Sundowns at the Mavoso Sports Centre in a Saturday afternoon encounter. With the fear of relegation strongly lingering at the back of their minds, they will certainly know that they can't afford any slip-ups, especially with teams like Hedinho, Sea Rangers and Malanti continuing with collectation of points in their games respectively. It was Coach Mtetwa's fourth match in charge, having managed to collect a single point so far, his heaviest defeat being the 5-2 scoreline against Amatole on Wednesday. Wanderers were threatening in the opening stages of the match, Bandile Shabamu's chance being saved by the keeper. Sundowns almost benefited from a quick play, Regan Charles facing his former boss, whipping in a cross, Sihlem Konta clearing it off. Giggs forced an excellent save from the keeper, whose reaction was equally as good as the header. It was the battle of the headers as the prodigal son looked to punish his former side. Mike Dombo came closer, but his effort was easily dealt with. Fabrice Mopina's shot was not threatening at all in the closing stages of the half. Sundown's goalkeeper Luitus Milani almost made a blunder of an easy ball, failing to collect. Luckily for him, the power behind the gig's shot was not enough to drive the ball to the net. Wanderers were getting the chances, but goals were not forthcoming. Sundowns failed to capitalize on a free kick just outside the penalty box. Regan's kick too close to the keeper. Wanderers keeper called to action soon after and was well equal to the task. Referee Leticia Viana had to stop play due to faulty floodlights, something that might force the Premier League to reconsider kickoff time in the remaining fixtures of this campaign. After the restarters, Pamanda Masego handed Sundowns a much needed lead, much to the delight of their fans. Wanderers were throwing all they had up front in search of an equalizer, but Sundowns were more determined to take all three points on offer. Similane saving the day with a man of the match performance, Basop Ikapakapa. Babane Swallows fancied their chances against the Minos Milling Hot Spur in week 18 of the MTN Premier League at the Mavoso Sports Centre. With the race at the top of the log heating up, the bets know they can't afford to drop any points, especially against Milling. Swallows were made to rule their missed chances, but men in the mini, handing Milling the lead sweet for the Minos. One could sense the frustration from the stand. Titi Tabete and Felix, who are out in nursing and ankle and tendon injuries, respectively. Swallows were handed a lifeline and awarded a penalty. Sandile Shachuago missing it. I guess he took too much of the World Cup playoff between Senegal and Egypt. How not to score a penalty? After much frustration, D4D managed to level matters for Swallows. Much needed relief for Swallows' technical bench.
That's how the match will end one all, Swallows are dropping two crucial points. Babane Solos were out to hand down a tough lesson to relegation threatened the Rangers in an afternoon encounter at the Mayaluga Stadium. The City Giants were wary of the danger the team from Shisalwani post having lost 2-0 in their first round fixture. For the second time this season, first as Cape Town Swallows paraded their veteran player Wanda Samba Jive and Lego in the absence of Titi Tabete and Felix Fela Badenhorst who are out injured. They say when it rains it pours and that analogy perfectly sums up the situation in Rangers camp. The team is missing six regular players who are out injured and it looks like coach Mtun Zikininza will keep on bringing a knife in a gunfight. The host settled in quick drawing the first blood in the opening minute of the match courtesy of James Nguluve. Sipose Tumabilisa came closing his header off of the target. Swallows fans were calling for it, yearning for more, and their prayers were almost answered. Baba Sergio Blanger's shot just off the mark. Rangers keeper Simo Mabuza's non-conforming mood on the day was enough to deny Nguenya from close range after some excellent footwork from Banele Pupuskonze. D4D was not having the best day in office, missing chance after chance. Soon after, Swallows were awarded a penalty after a foul on Pupu, who was the heart of the team. Cape Town Samba Jive was tasked with the mission of taking the spot kick. He took responsibility, letting his first of the season. Happy return for Samba, talk about the redefinition of football age. A minute later, Nguenya inflicted more pain in an already injured Rangers, extending Swallow's lead. D4D had all the chances with the final touch, the only let down. Wanda got the last attempt of the half with the Swallows taking a resounding 3-0 lead at half time. Nguenya was not done as of yet, missing a sitter with the keeper at his mercy. Bonele Lomhlanga's attempt at goal created a likely to not trouble for the keeper. For the second time on the day, the referee pointed to the sport. D4D is stepping up this time around to get his name on the scoreboard.
That's how the match will end. A crucial win for the host in a bid to not lose too much ground at the top of the lock after dropping two crucial points midweek against Milling. They showed the character since Natu is we are good throw the meeting. So we plan it to be like let's punish Lokujana Rangers in Asingen Italian. And again in our book experience again in Yellow City that is Naskumangi culture as well as that's when we need players like Boanda. Labatosing just told him my penalties, but that's a dead responsibility. So sit a cool. He came here to see lose the first half. The first half, bad album bang in a young at the bad lab sabaho. Could you are playing a case of an solo scans? She prepared she and Sakona by equipper even mentally. You would see the team was a little first round. So Nyalo Vele, but all targets, banning Hani of Nakoka Spongo. So Sagulung is a logo mental, but now Bugago, first half. Personal in team, second half, personal in team. Second half, the team is prepared. Uh, Besides that penalty, the, the soft penalty le by Tolil, being a corner good see, being a chorus for the uh, second half. So, but the leg according to plan of uh, the second half. But first half, they failed to play uh, according to game plan yet. The fight at the top is as intense as the one at the bottom of the log, and that was evident enough for when second placed Highlanders faced the second from the bottom, Dinyosi, at the Mavosa Sports Centre. Highlanders had better chances in the opening stages of the match, playing with intent with the stakes clearly high. Sikali and Fagutze were free flowing up front but lacking the final touch in the final third. Dinos's transitions up front were smooth and posed a danger, but too close to the keeper. Highlanders were not threatening in set piece positions. With the pace a bit slow, Dinos were failing to explore the little spaces in Inkunzi's defense. Inkunzi had their fair share of chances of failing to make something out of it. Missing out on a glorious chance to move six points clear of Leopards, who were out honouring their last CAF assignment. I think we could play the whole day. We were not going to score that game. We could not come. We tried our level best. We had clear, we had clear cut chances first half, of which those were open chances. But second half, we started playing forward, rushing things, pushing forward. Too early instead of you know, trying to be patient, knocking things around, wait for the right time to get in the box. Plus, we still created half chances. The composure was not there. They playing things instead of controlling, passing the net. They want to shoot early. But it was one of those days. It's a disappointing day. What can you do? You have to start again and look forward to the next game. Eh? Yeah, we'll check the clean sheet for starters. It's good for my young goalkeeper, Sergei I mean, This is his third game after we lost the senior goalkeeper to Andras. So we'll check the clean sheet, something to build on. And yeah, all right. Getting a point against the lock leaders. I mean, the feared striker like Scarly, they've just brought in another striker from South Africa. I mean, we'll check it as an achievement. It means much to us. And now your MTN Premier League log. Babani Highlanders missed out on a glorious chance to go six points clear of second placed Leopard. Young Buffaloes are definitely the big movers are making a top three entry. The Army side have gone about their business quietly, making themselves the latest tightly contenders. Swallows and Vovovo round up the top five. At the bottom, Tambuti and Dinyosi remain rooted at the bottom of the log. Malandi suffered a major setback in their surge to move out of the danger zone, losing against seabeds.